Game of Thrones. Thrones, Thrones, Game of Thrones. We did a we did a video titled Game of Thrones nor the mysteries of that HBO show Game of Thrones and y'all said some stuff. Yes. About Game of Thrones. About Game of Thrones. Ah, he said I'm Deadboard said, I'm starting to think Bran will go into the dragon's mind and take control of it. Oh. He can't because he took Darthro's necklace and threw it off the cliff. And once it reaches the bottom of the cliff, he can no longer enter Mordufius. Wait, what? Wait, what? What are you talking it's about? He's in chapter six. <laughs> do, they Fantasy, name, huh? do they have a name oh. for the planet? Fantasy, you Trisha? knew. Oh. Huh? Do they have a name for the planet that they live on? In this show, it's actually if Doofenshmirtz. They do, I don't know about it. They live on the planet Doofenshmirtz, and uh, that sounds Danish. Oh yeah, it is. It actually uh, George R. R. Martin actually was born in the Danish country of uh, Flitsenville, and he uh, created uh, Game of Thrones from a, a wet dream he had. Jose Martinho says Jamie's fault is loving Cersei. Everything he did was because he loved a major psycho bitch who also happens to be his sister. That's his curse of which he broke, at least for a little, and that's why he's more likable now. F Cersei. Yeah, Cersei not... doesn't really know what he's talking about. That's a girl. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> no, 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 Cersei, yeah. No, no. Well, Jamie seems like a smart guy. I feel like at this point he's thinking, like, Cersei wants nothing to do with me right now. She's dealing with her own mm -hmm. demons. Now it's time for me to put matters into my own hands and TCB. My own hand? Oh! oh! Well, what do you think about that? Well, his hand is actually derived from the ancient Mayans. George R.R. R. Martin wrote that in depicting the ancient Greek god of Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite scene from this episode of Game of Thrones? Oh my gosh, my favorite scene is when Dionys and, and Mordor walk into the pub together and he says, if I take off that mask, will you die? And he did, and he did it, because it was all a sham, a sham the whole time. <laughs> well, can you please write a, a fantasy adventure book? I will write a fantasy adventure book. Please write a fantasy adventure book. <laughs> 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 <That's what happened. laughs> just, just as long as they don't throw away the crystal skull, then I'm good. What do you think is gonna happen with Danny and her dragons? Oh, Danny's mind is gonna be transferred into the Queen of Dragons' belly, and she's gonna birth more Dannys. And Diaris is going to try to steal one and ride one as the kingdom's new steed. <laughs> <laughs> Diaris! This is amazing! It's just my theory. Like, it's just an opinion. Well, what do you think is going to happen in the next Game of Thrones? Yeah. So, uh -huh. first of all, Diaris' head explodes from a new injury caused by Jon Snow's sword. Jon Snow pulled the sword from the Crystal Skull, and once it came out, it derived into a new type of sword mm -hmm. that was stuck into the Ocean of Doom. When you put a sword in the Ocean of wow. Doom, it becomes a new sword that's <laughs> black. And that's how Diaris died. What happens to that black sword? Oh, man, it's so thick. Um, all right, well, right now I want to bring my favorite segment of the show, which is Will. find out what Will thought of last night's episode. Will, Will. get you it. Right. 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 What, what did you think about last night's episode? episode? Yeah. You guys may have overlooked the most important part of the episode. What was that? When Darthro overthrew the castle, yeah. he used his sword yeah. to overcome the entire battle. The White Walkers are now being opposed by the Orange Walkers, which are just like the Black Walkers, yeah. but the pigment has changed. The pigments oh. change. When they change color, they're able to walk through walls and steal things like a, <laughs> like a stuff. Yeah, like now, stuff. <laughs> now, my biggest opinion though, Jon Snow is the only one able to defeat the Orange Walkers because he originated from the first side. <laughs> That's a great prediction. You know what? I overlooked that completely. I must have missed that part. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. Thank you, I appreciate that. This is my Thank opinion. You. Thanks a lot, man. Glad you stopped by to let us know what you You're thought. You're the man, dude. <laughs> Before we go, we have to bring in our resident Game of Thrones expert, mm. William Haynes. William Haynes. Uh, Will's opinions on each episode is very important to very us. Very important. And I think we need to include his segment on what Will thought about the episode now. I sit Come down! On, Will. This episode was a blast. Now, King Ramsay. King Ramsay is notorious for having too much on his plate. He told Jon Snow in this episode that if you don't get Khaleesi's to enter the Vortex of Doom, I can't bring back the Sword of Garthro. 
The Sword of Garthro, we all know, is the most powerful sword in the entire Game of Thrones universe. Yeah. George R. R. Martin actually came up with the idea after oh. reading the third book of uh, Diaris. That's fascinating. What did you think about the trial? The trial was completely shammed. Completely shammed. Oh. Okay. Why? Was it like the book? Did you read the books? In this part of the book, I got really bored. You know how sometimes you read and you just read the same part over and over and over again? I'm pretty sure that if, during this episode, <laughs> bad stuff happened. Yeah. <laughs> what was your favorite part? <sighs> My favorite part was definitely when the queen of the dinosaurs entered, battled the queen of the dragons against the orange walkers. The orange walkers came back. I thought in the last episode that they all died because of that whiteout that yeah. Jon Snow brought, but yeah. They're back. Wow. Can I tell you, I would watch the fuck out of that. Me too. <laughs> Me too. The Queen of the Dinosaurs. The Queen of the Dinosaurs might be my favorite. <laughs> that's just my. That's just my opinion well, on. Well, thank you, Will. Thank you, for Will. Sharing. Really appreciate it, man. Jon Snow, man. Thank you very much, Will. <laughs> Jon <laughs> Snow wasn't even in. The last <laughs> <episode>. <laughs> it's the best part. Oh. Time for a favorite segment on the TV show show, which is what were Will's thoughts on last night's episode of Game of Thrones? Now I know I am the leading bracket or something for Game of Thrones. Let me tell you, this episode blew my mind. I knew she was gonna die. I knew it. I knew it was foreshadowed in the last episode that she was gonna die, so I knew it. It wasn't too brutal, it wasn't too disgusting. I thought that that was a good way for someone to go out. If I was gonna die in the Game of Thrones universe, that's the way I would die. <laughs> Okay. And what was your favorite part of the episode? <laughs> well, when Darthro said to Robin, the king of the veal, that he can't eat there anymore because he, he that veal was not good enough, I was shocked. How, <laughs> how will you take those measures? Mardufius will never be the same. Are we allowed to say spoilers in this? Go ahead. Yeah, Go ahead. spoil away. Uh, the ghost of uh, that kid is going to come back. That kid that was Prince, he's going to come back as a ghost. Joffrey's ghost is going to come back. Through John, he's gonna take over Jon Snow's body oh. and take the sword that fell from the the, the 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 crystal skull that time and kill kill the Emperor Mardufius. Wow, that's a good prediction. Dude. All right, thank you, Will. Thank you so much. Before we go, we have to bring in Will. It's always a pleasure to we have. We need Will. to know what Will thinks. We need to know what Will thinks. So come on in, Will. Will. Tell us what you thought Will, of this baby. episode. You know, guys. <laughs> I don't know about this one. What happened? I wasn't completely impressed. Now, oh. Jon Snow, first of all, his first monologue, he started off in a monologue. Why would they cut to straight into a monologue? He said in this monologue, Khaleesi, you were always the one. I never thought anyone was the one but you. And she didn't even respond with any, with any love. No. Okay. Who is she to say? Just because her dragons are running amok doesn't mean that she has the right to own them. Now, you see, he first grabbed his, his sword. He pulled the sword once again out of the crystal skull and he, he, he put it in her face and he said, this is it for you. This is it. How can you go from loving someone to hating someone? What is this type of romance? Wait, so the sword is, he always has to pull the sword out of the crystal skull? Every time he uses it, he has to pull it out of the crystal skull. That's where he sheathes it, is in the crystal skull. Now, the sword was made from a lake that they found deep inside the, 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 the earth of Ordu. Ordu is the city that George R. R. Martin made out of the, uh, he, the town that he was born in. He decided to model it oh, after it's autobiographical. That. It's autobiographical. Okay. He's really, it's, it's really a metaphor wow, for himself. The Lake of Ordu is where he had his first kiss, and that's why he had Jon Snow share his first kiss with Mr. Meeseeks there. Mr. Meeseeks? I mean, Khaleesi's. Who's Mr. Meeseeks? <laughs> Mr. Meeseeks and Khaleesi's, uh, her uncle. So what did you think about the battle at the end of this episode? The battle at the end was <laughs> incredible. What I didn't know is that uh, uh, Robin, the, the, the king of that other town, he actually had an army that he prepared each and every one of them with a White Walker inside of them. Well, that's why when Jon <laughs> Snow came with his Orange Walkers, the battle was just was colors everywhere. They, they, I'd seen mm -hmm. colors I'd never even seen before. Mm -hmm. I saw orange, I saw purple, and I saw some other colors I didn't know. What do you think's gonna happen in the next episode? The next episode, someone's gonna die. I don't know. It's just like it's just a, ro a roster up to this. I think he's gonna introduce a new character that we don't know, mm -hmm. which is actually maybe from uh, the the Green Walker camp. Um, which took it over someone's body, and maybe a dragon will come. Maybe some of the dragons will die. So we only have two episodes left, Will. Only two episodes of this yeah, whole this season? season. Yeah. Well, yeah, someone's going to die. It's going to be Jon Snow. Okay. All right, well, You've thank heard you, it. guys. Will said it. Will said it. Jon Snow's going to die next episode. He's going to Jon Snow's going to die. All right, thank I you, I mean, Will. that's a distinct possibility. Yeah. Yeah. It could be. It is. <laughs> that's actually one of the most true things you've said. Of the day where we get Will's thoughts. 
Now, Will is a diehard Game of Thrones fanatic. Mm -hmm. Guys, I've read all the books, so I won't spoil too much for you, but I will let you know that this episode was really confusing to me because since when did the Saganists come into play? The since Saganists, when, man? The Saganists led by Carl the, the Watcher, he knows that this wasn't right. He knows it wasn't right to send in the Orange Walkers into the final battle. That's why they all died, except for mm. one. We don't know where he is currently, but he can multiply. We all know the, the number one power <laughs> of the Orange Walkers, unlike the White Walkers, is that they can procreate by themselves. Mm. If you use, if, see, if you kill all the Orange Walkers but mm -hmm. one, they'll come back and they'll kill That's them all. Scary. See, Jon Snow, he thought he killed the last one, but he didn't because he, he the, the the sword from Darthro, it, it, after about the 11th hit, it starts to fizz out and needs to mm. recharge in the, the Lake crystal of Doom. Skull. Yeah, it needs yeah. to charge right back into the Crystal Skull, which is now in the Lake of Doom, because we all know Tyrion threw it into the Lake of Doom because he, he wanted to get back at Jon Snow for sleeping with his cousin's ex-wife's sister. Dead. Oh. And his cousin's ex-wife's sister just is 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 the worst character in the whole show. Mm -hmm. I want her to die by the Mother of Dragons. I want her, the Mother of Dragons, to then get eaten by the Father of Dragons. And I want that to be oh. burned down oh. by Khaleesi's and Mr. Meeseeks. I think that I agree, was a man. very, very good summary. Yeah. That's just how happened? I feel. Yeah. You know, I'll give you this for the Mr. Meeseeks reference. Yep. <laughs> for the rest of it, I hate you. All right. <laughs> This is Matt's first time experiencing I've, Will's thoughts. I've also never seen that show. <laughs> it's, a, it's a wealth of references to show. Will doesn't even watch TV. The Saganists. Yeah. The, the Carl he, Sagan. just, he just reads a lot of Wikipedia. Go away. Will, Will just knows keywords <laughs> and strings them together in a brilliant fashion. Orange walkers. Oh, yeah. Hmm. And the orange walkers <sighs> and the white walkers multiply. Darth Row. The, the sword, the sword of, Darth. of Darth Well, yeah, well that's been a recurring Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's a thing. And he well, always gets sheath yeah. as the crystal skull. Yeah. yeah. All right, great. So, guys, before we end the final episode of the TV show show covering Game of Thrones, we, of course, have to bring in William Haynes, William Haynes. our resident expert mm -hmm. on Game of Thrones. Will, what would you think about the finale? Come on Ooh, in here. Oh, snap. Oh, swiggity. All right, now let me tell you guys a little something about this. Right, do you want to hold this while you're I talking? need to hold this because... Okay. This is a uh, so. First, I was I thought the episode started a little slow because uh, Tyrone just would not put the sword into the Father <laughs> Dragon's back. This was his only opportunity. We all know that if he hadn't done it, then it would have given birth to ten more dragons, which would have been the uncle and the cousin and the aunt of dragons, which cannot even manage to be beaten by the Orange Walkers. Now, the Orange Walkers in this episode really did not know what they were doing. They were wandering aimlessly next to the Yellow Walkers. But what, what really hit me emotionally was the father-son connection between Jon Snow and his, uh, his father, uh, 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 Darthro. Because this whole yeah. time we had no idea that Jon Snow's father was actually Darthro. We didn't. Right. And we didn't what know. It, it turns out that he's not actually his real biological father. He just found him in a uh, in the forest one day and raised him as his, as his own. And he didn't know that he was super strong. So what did you oh. think of Brienne and uh, the the Hound meeting? Oh, the Hound. See, I, I thought that the Hound was actually one of the direwolves that had been lost. But I thought that Brienne, what he should have done was uh, uh, <laughs> just murdered it. But he did. <laughs> he did. He did not. He did not murder so, it. So I think at the end, at the end of the battle, and once the wall was destroyed, what we learned is that love mm -hmm. conquers all in the Game of Thrones universe because this was actually related to a time in uh, George R. R. Martin's life when he was going through a love quarrel oh. with one of his uh, with his second ex-wife, and that he said so much. that's widely known. Yeah. And then yeah. he widely publicized. He came to the conclusion that uh, love is blind and love is real, which is just why when. Uh, uh, Jon Snow looked into uh, Miss Khaleesi's eyes, he said, you are the one for me, and then he drove the stake into her heart. Yeah. We don't know if she'll live to next season. We don't know. We don't know. So what do you think really quick about Tyrion and Tywin? Oh, up? okay, so when Tyrion and Tywin met up, I thought uh, this is his opportunity to, to profess his love to her, but he didn't because he thought mm -hmm. that uh, he needed to give her more time before he can enter the throne and become yeah. the master of uh, the universe. And because uh, he has so many dragons that he, he doesn't know which ones he wants to control. He doesn't know which ones he wants to throw away. But he does know, Tyrone knows that he wants to be the best in the entire universe. And that is why he shut down the castle. And that Tywin's a Perfect. feisty bitch. Well, yeah. thank Tywin, you, Will. She's horrible. She's you know, horrible. it's my opinion. I yeah. appreciate it, man. Those are just my two cents. And we got to wait a Thanks, whole man. year before we find out a more about the Orange like, Walkers. Like, a whole nine months. I think the yeah. Orange Walkers will come back, though. They'll, they'll come back. <laughs> okay. They've never been beaten before. Thanks, Will. I appreciate that. Thank you, that. Will. Thanks, Will.